this is Joan Nichols. I'm back with Representative Tom Tilbury from District 51B. Welcome back to Capital Voice. Hi. It's How been are you? great. It's been a while. We're a little bit more relaxed. It's, yeah, it's, it's uh, we're more than a month out from when the 2010 legislative session ended, but kind of gives you more perspective too on what happened during the session and and what's gone on since. Well, when I think of the last two weeks that we had in the session, um, you know, we we were around the clock busy getting things accomplished. Um, we did balance the budget, although I would like to have seen it go better because I think upcoming in our next session, uh, the legislature that is going to be newly formed is going to have to deal with a lot of the issues that are coming up, and that is more budgetary problems. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we're not uh, immune to anything that really the country is going through. So I think we're, we're struggling with some of that. And that's what we have to look forward to. Um, so I think that we'll, we'll be working hard with that. But in the interim, um, you know, I, after the session was completed, you know, right away the next day, even though it was, what, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, yes. I'm at school the next day working with uh, my students over in Roseville and um, where I work as a counselor. And um, so we were getting kids to graduate and, and checking on that and making sure we could do all that. Um, so that's what I started right back up with and uh, worked that till about the 10th. I think our last day was the 10th. Are you doing some summer school also? Well, right, we are doing some summer school situations there. We have um, a typically a, a remediation type program, summer school overall, but one of the things that um, I'm doing with them is uh, uh, working with some students, about 80 students altogether, who have struggled either through seventh and eighth grade. And so when they struggled, um, that's, that's something that we wanted to work with them on. We call it a bridging uh, piece, so these bridging students. The idea is to maybe catch them up a little bit from eighth grade to ninth grade, maybe uh, develop some relationships with them um, mm -hmm. through many of our, our teachers that will come in. So it's kind of like spot duty for me. I'll go in tomorrow and teach four classes um, a certain lesson plan, um, work with them you know, on, on what their transcript looks like, what it could look like, what what do they do with, with all their grades, how do they organize themselves. And so I think that's that's pretty helpful for these students. We've had a pretty good track record on this as far as them um, being able to, to pull that out. Well, I know that during the session, too, you're such an advocate of education that you really have been working on uh, decreasing mandates mm -hmm. that are expensive for schools and really ensuring that any education payment shifts that are made that we were obligated to make the, those repayments down right. the line. Right, right. And, and it is because I do work in schools. I see these kids, you know, face to face right away. So when um, sometimes when we're in committee and there's some people that you can tell have not been in or near a classroom in many years. And they just say, well, we should just do this. And they come up with some plan of, you know, the simple plan. And then I think, well, yeah, that's, that makes sense if, if all students had, you know, perfect scenarios in their life. But not all of them do. Um, I see kids that have struggled with many things. And um, one kid that I know of just this past time happened to be homeless. And students are homeless. And um, that is a fact of life. And even in, you know, so-called Roseville, where supposedly that's not supposed to happen, you know, a, you know, a affluent community, um, but it does. And I see some of the, the situations due to budget cuts, um, due to things that have happened in our school system, watching teachers get laid off. Um, whether they'll get hired back will depend on how the budgets work. So that shift is a budget cut, and so that's something that we want to look at, I think, in the future to make sure that education is something that we truly value. It is our future. Well, and I think your constituents must truly value you because you take all of that experience that you have as a counselor and in the classroom and bring that to the state legislature and help make policies that make sense. I, I hope so. I, that's, you know, that's what I got into it for. 
Again, I want to thank you, Representative Tilbury. It's always nice to visit with you on Capital Voice. Uh, we'll visit with you again. Again, Representative Tom Tilbury from District 51B. Thanks.